HMK once again, and this is the episode of It's Time, Hive Train, whatever, where I'm gonna give my take on E3 2014, my review on who won E3 2014. Now, I know this video may be a bit late, well, a bunch of other projects and commitments got in the way, but today is the day, and I'm gonna be talking about the three main people, so I'm not gonna talk about the Ubisoft or the EA conference, excuse me. It's only going to be Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. Who won E3 2014 this year? Well, let's start with Microsoft because I'm going to go in order where they had their conferences. So it's going to be Microsoft, Sony, then Nintendo. Microsoft, oh boy, Microsoft. After the huge blunder they've had last year in, in total of the whole year, Microsoft definitely had the stacks against them. And what did they do to open up the fucking conference? Oh, big surprise. Fucking Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's how they open up E3. Great job. But anyways, uh, Microsoft's conference, um, a lot of people, because I voiced my opinions as soon as the conference was over or whatever, a lot of people think that I thought the conference was bad. I just said it was meh. I thought it was alright, it was there, it wasn't bad, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great and it wasn't explosive e either, it was just there, it was just meh. But no lie, some games do get me hyped up, such as Halo 5 Guardians, that Halo Master Collection, which is a great deal, but you know, I'm only looking forward to that for the Halo 2, the unchanged Halo 2. But of course, I don't have an Xbox One yet, and I'm probably not going to get one in the near future. So, that's what I was looking forward to. Also, Evolve looks uh, very good. And then other games such as Scalebound and Project Spark. I still think Project Spark looks good as a game, and I'm still looking forward to that to see how it is. But the whole Conquer shit, where they fucking tease Conquer, and then like, oh, 10 years without a game. Guess we have to make our own. Yeah, that's all I was feeling, and that's what many other people were feeling, including JonTron. That video was hilarious. Also, Fable Legends. I mean, I, I have an Xbox 360. I played the Fable games. Those games were great. 3 was a little riggedy riggedy, and then Fable Legends... <sighs> Fable 1 and 2, people, come on! What, what's, the, what's, what's the deal? Anyways, the thing about Xbox is that uh, it only showed off a handful of exclusives, in, uh, including uh, Halo, Fable, and other shit, but it also uh, showed off games like The Crew, which I look forward to. Everyone's like, oh yeah, The Crew, I I'm only going to get that game to see if I can drive in front of my street. And I want to do that uh, same shit too. Also, we had games such as Dragon Age Inquisition, which looks fucking great. But overall, the, the, the conference in itself was just there. It was just, it, it, it was, it was just sitting there. And I wasn't hyped, I wasn't really that hyped as for the conference as a whole. I wasn't excited and stuff. And it was like, oh, HMK, you're hitting at Microsoft, that's why you weren't hyped. Like, honestly, I liked Microsoft. I liked, I still like my Xbox 360 up until the whole Xbox One bullshit. But, you know, and I was looking forward to it slightly, and I saw it, and I'm like, mm -hmm. So that's Microsoft. Microsoft, in my opinion, is 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10. It wasn't, it, it was mediocre. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't bad, and it was just meh. Now the Sony conference, here we go. The Sony conference, which I was able to go to the fucking uh, PlayStation Experience at IMAX theaters in my local IMAX, which had it. Got my tickets, got my badge, my badge is somewhere out in the living room, whatever. And it was so awesome, everything was 60 frames per second IMAX. And the, the Sony conference was pretty hyped because they showed up Little Big Planet 3 with four new characters and honestly that demo which they showed the people playing Little Big Planet 3, that thing was painful. It was hilarious, but painful to watch. Especially with the fucking bird, sack boy, and fucking Grimace. We kept calling this thing Grimace. The whole theater was just like, Grimace, yo Grimace, what's up Grimace? So uh, we had that to uh, look forward to. We had Little Big Planet 3, uh, they uh, finally unveiled Uncharted 4. They unveiled the other games such as, uh, not they really unveiled, but they showed off gameplay finally of uh, uh, Mortal Kombat 10. They revealed Grand Theft Auto for the next gen, you know, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. And, man, Sony just loves to burn Microsoft in the wrong way. Just like, mm, because the way they said you can take your save data of Grand Theft Auto 5 from your PlayStation 3 
or Xbox 360 and put it on the PlayStation 4. We were like, oh man, Microsoft. Ugh. But yeah, so Sony, Sony knew what they were doing for the most part, even when they were uh, revealing their tech, such as PlayStation TV and all the other stuff, the white PlayStation 4. They knew what they were doing. They made it pretty hype. They, they made it want you to get it. They made you want to care about it, which was great. Good job on you guys. But I gotta say, when they start talking about powers and shit, the, the whole comic, movie, PlayStation exclusive, Sony TV, snore! Fucking get on with the show! Powers! I'm honestly, like, honestly, comic book fans, I'm pretty sure they would get pretty hyped for that, but like, for me personally, and the whole theater was like, move on! Keep going! Ah. <laughs> And they also show off more gameplay of No Man, uh, no Man's Sky and this new game called, um... God, I forgot the name and I don't have it on my fucking sheet. But it's that game, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna leave it in the comment section below. The game where you control two beings, a fish and a bird, in tandem, and you have to go and intertwine! There you go, is that the game? Entwined? Intertwined? Entwined? So that's the game, okay. But that game looked very, very, very interesting, even though it seemed like a small, you know, indie ish, you know, whatever to pass the time. And we also got Limbo 2, Limbo 2, which is, um, in prison or claustrophobic or whatever. I, I forgot the name of that thing because I don't have, I don't have the indie titles here, I only have the main titles here. Uh, but Limbo 2, I'm pretty sure you guys are once again going to leave the comment section below. But that game looked awesome, even though it's not Limbo 2, it, it, it has the feel of Limbo. And of course, it came from the uh, developers of Limbo. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, another game I like to talk about is, uh, well, not really talk about, but Dead Island 2. But yeah, but um, the Sony conference was pretty, 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 it, it was dope, it was pretty good, but of course, remember, it, it wasn't as hyped as last year, it definitely was, because of course we had the, we had the absence of Final Fantasy XV and Kingdom Hearts 3, which I, which many people were looking forward to, and we didn't even get that, and I'm surprised that Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix wasn't even on the fucking Sony, uh, was on the Sony conference, but whatever. So, um, that's what we had, and we're gonna move on to the Nintendo conference, which it didn't even have a conference, it was a Nintendo digital event. Also, Sony, I just forgot to say this, Sony gets an 8 out of 10 for their conference. Now, Nintendo's conference, let me tell you, Nintendo's conference, everyone's like, oh, Nin oh HMK, you're such a Nintendo fanboy, who won 83? Oh, Nintendo won you're such a fanboy, well, fuck you guys, this is the reason why I love Nintendo, bitch. It's because they do awesome shit like this. They even joked around with themselves. You're gonna open the digital conference with a robot chicken segment and have robot chicken segments throughout the show? Fuck yeah! And then afterwards, dude, a fight between the CEO of Nintendo and the Nintendo President of America, Satoru Iwata versus Reggie Fusume. To promote Miis and the Amiibo, which the Amiibo, uh, Amiibo is kind of like a plus and minus for me. But I'm still gonna get Amiibos, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna collect the, the Legend of Zelda Amiibos. And I'm just gonna collect, even if I don't have the game to function with them, I'm gonna get it just to collect the shit out of them and have them like on my, on my collection. Yeah. But, they showed off Super Smash Bros, a lot more stuff about Super Smash Bros. They unveiled two new characters, Palutena and Mii Fighter at the digital event, and they released Pac-Man later on in the, you know, the behind the closed door of the Smash Round Table. Now, they show off games such as Yoshi's Woolly World, which that segment took a little bit too long. Uh, I like Yoshi's Woolly World, okay. I mean, okay. It took too long, whatever. Also, they finally unveiled the next fucking Legend of Zelda game! But it was only like fucking 40, not even a minute of shit! And you're gonna cough tease like us like that when you said, "Hey guys, we're gonna sh we were gonna show it last year, but we decided not to. We're gonna show it at New York Comic Con, but decided not to. We're gonna show it at E2 2014. You showed us great. That's all you're gonna show us. Fuck. God damn it. Let's go. And I got so fucking hyped for that shit. And I'm so still hyped for that. And I fucking promise you more videos are coming out in the future about that shit. And then we also got Hyrule Warriors. We got this new game, Splatoon, which is not. A fucking regular shooter, as you would think, you know, Splatoon, it looks like a, a regular third-person shooter, but it's a very interesting shooter. Not only can you kill your opponents, because it's still a shooter, 
you the point of the game is to get the most ink around the area the person with the most ink on the map wins which is a very very interesting way to like you know put a shooter but there's it's been done before i'm just saying it, it has been done before but uh splatoon sure a lot of people's like yeah splatoon, yeah but another big deal is mario maker where you get to create your own mario games which is which is great and a lot of people because got leaked um a few days before the, it just showed off uh, that you can make Mario games in the old Mario graphics, but of course now we can make Mario games in the old Mario graphics and the Mario Wii U graphics, Super Mario Bros. U. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And you know this thing better have like a sharing feature because I would love to make worlds, share them, download them, and then let's see who can build the best, most intricate world and who can make the most creative world. That is that is gonna be such a game to fucking play. Oh yeah, and then uh, I already said Hyrule Warriors, Yoshi's Woolly World, Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 2DS. And we finally got the confirmation that Star Fox U is coming even though we didn't see shit about it. Whatever. And Shigeru Miyamoto did um, show off some like two other games, the Robot Battle fighting game and not like a jazz. But the thing is you gotta understand about Nintendo 83 guys. All right. Nintendo had a foreboding presence at E3, a presence that was not ignored and was well received. Not only did we have this awesome digital conference, we had a Smash Bros. tournament, the first ever Nintendo sanctioned Smash Bros. tournament, with Master Sakurai and fucking Reggie Fusume being there as well. We also had the Nintendo Treehouse, which happened throughout E3, so you can get your fix in all things Nintendo if you're watching fucking boring ass ball, uh, Battlefield Hardline or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the other Twitch accounts. You can go to Nintendo and check out their games and shit. And it, it was just such a forbidden presence. Like, the. Oh my god. And honestly, guys, you guys may say it, but. It may hate me, whatever. It's like, ah, uh, Nintendo fanboy. Nintendo definitely won E3 2014 this year. Nintendo won hard. So hard. And it, it, it was just a great event overall. But I will say this. Last year's Nintendo, no, last year's E3 as, uh, as a whole, last year's E3 was better than this year's E3. Last year's was definitely hyped. Last year's was more hype than this one. This one was good, but last year's was more hype than this one. Last year's Sony won, and Nintendo was the and Microsoft was like lowest to the low. This one's Nintendo, Sony, the Microsoft. And Nintendo, in my opinion, gets a 9.25 out of 10 when it comes to their E3 conference. E their E3 presence in general. It was, it was just so forbidden that you cannot ignore it. So what did you think about this year's E3? What did you think about the whole event? Who do you think won? Give your reasons why you who you think won. You know, leave them in the comment section below. If you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, tell me why. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Until next time, it will be time. And until the next hype train, hype is fucking video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.